Welcome to the tutorial of how to import CAD drawings into Dynamo. At first, after starting dialog, you have to select if you want to create an interior project, an exterior project, a street project, or make some visuals. Our case is a simple interior project. Now you can edit your room by clicking on the lines and moving them also input the size manually like this oh, and you can also use the edges to edit your room so after creating your room you click on ok then you have to go to file import click on dwg or the xf file to import the cat drawing the wizard for importing DWG or the XF file will open. On the first page, you can see the next steps who will be done. So you click on Next. The first step is to select your file. It can be on your hard disk, a USB stick, a file server, or wherever. Just click on Browse. Now a window will appear to select your file. In this case, it's the DWG file. If you got the XF file, click down here to the file type and select the XF. Then you select your file and click on Open. If the green bar is full, your file is loaded completely. So you click on Next. The next step is to select the scaling of your CAD drawing. This information is not being stored within a DWG or the XF file. So you have to select it manually. It can be meters, kilometers, inch, foot, miles, everything. If you select one unit, you have a preview on the dimensions of your CAD drawing. If the value you selected is wrong, this is no problem. You can change it later on. If you selected your unit, click on Next. The next step is to define the origin of your CAD drawing in your dialog project. Most often it's the easiest way to click on select gravity center of the used area as origin. This means the center of your CAD drawing will be at the zero zero point of your dialog project. If you finished to the definition of the origin, click on next. Now you have finished the import of your CAD drawing. So you can click on finish. Now your CAD drawing is being imported into your dialogs file. You can zoom out to have an overview. The next step is to build rooms from your CAD drawing. To do that you can move to the room you want to create by pressing the middle mouse like this and zooming in. Now we will recreate this room up here. To do that, just do a right click and click on Edit Room Geometry. Now you can do another right click and select Draw Polygon. Now you select a corner of your room. Now you see a red line follows your mouse. So you select the next corner, your left stick, another left stick, so you follow all the outlines of your room. For the last edge, you can do another right click and click on Close. Now you see your room being drawn in the position of your cat drawing. So you click on OK. Now you could also switch to the 3D extended view and you can see your room. If you want to have a look at your cat drawing here, you s just select this symbol with the glasses written DXF. And now you have your DXF drawing in 3D view. If you want to create another room, go to the guide, for example, and click insert new room. Now another room is being built. If you want to redraw another room from your cat drawing, can move to the room you want, for example this office down here, 
Now again, right click, draw polygon, select the outlines of your room. Do a right click to close the polygon. You see your room, can confirm it and in 3D view, you see your room. And of course, again, you can have a look at your DWG drawing. Now you can continue to finish your room. For example, if you go back to the floor plan, you can see down here is a door. So you go on to the objects tree, select windows and doors, and now you can simply drag and drop a door to that wall. You see, it snaps automatically to the wall. Now you can adjust it to the right position. You can also change the size by clicking on the blue dots at the edge. Now you see the orientation wrong in this case, so you go to your project manager and click on, in this case, inward hinge right. Now you see the door is being inserted. You can also have a look again at the 3D view, you see there is your door. Now you can also input some windows. Just a simple drag and drop here, and again, the window snaps to the wall. If you zoom in a little, you can check if it's correct. Now we need another three windows. Just to save some, some time, you can do a right click on a window, select copy along a line. Now in the project manager, you can select the number of copies. In this case, it's three. And you can select the orientation graphically just grab the blue edge of the, your line and drag it to the middle of the last window. Now you only have to click on copy and three windows are being generated. You can have a look at them in the 3D view. 